Good afternoon. It's a blessed Friday, and I just hope everyone has a happy and blessed weekend. And today is the day that the Lord has made. Let us all rejoice and be glad to receive the blessings of wisdom that comes from the Lord Yeshua Hamaseya. But before we start, let us bow our heads for a short prayer. Heavenly Father, Lord God, we thank you for this wonderful day that you had set before us, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you for your protections, O oh God. Lord, I pray right now in the mighty name of the Lord, Yeshua Hamasaya, Lord God, that you open the hearts, Lord God, of understanding, Lord God, of your people, Lord God, those who are watching right now through live streaming, that let the words, Lord God, that they will receive for today, Lord God, it will serve, Lord God, as their light, as their guidance, Lord God, as their inspiration, Lord God. And with you, Father, Lord God. And Lord, I pray right now in the mighty name of the Lord Yeshua Hamasaya, open the heart of understanding, Lord God, that they will receive, Lord God, the words and that it will, Lord God, penetrate into the core, dividing soul, the heart, bones, and marrow, oh God. In the mighty name of the Lord Yeshua Hamasaya, and I ask, Lord God, for your forgiveness to forgive each and every one of us, oh God, if there is anything right now, Lord God, in our thoughts. In our words, in our actions, Lord God, in our hearts, Lord God, is not pleasing to you. Lord, I ask for your precious blood to cleanse each and every one of us, Lord God, so that, Lord God, we may be worthy, enough, Lord God, to receive your blessing with them for today, Lord God. In the mighty name of the Lord, Yeshua, Hamasaya, and I command religions, warnings, God, angels, of assignment, witnesses, Lord, capture any unnecessary spirits which belongs to the Lord Yeshua Hamasaya, and I rebuke any spirit of destructions, and I rebuke any spirit of forgetfulness in the mighty name of the Lord Yeshua Hamasaya. And I only welcome the presence of the Holy Spirit in our midst right now. Holy Spirit, speak into the heart of your people in the mighty name of the Lord Yeshua Hamasaya. Lord, I lift up everything to you. God. For the rest of this day, Lord God, in the mighty name of the Lord Yeshua Hamasaya, and hide me, Lord God, at the back of your cross. Use my mouth, Lord God, as a vessel of your words, O God. Let me speak the word that you want me to speak, O God, in the mighty name of the Lord Yeshua Hamasaya. Lord, I thank you. I bless your holy name in the mighty name of the Lord Yeshua Hamasaya. I pray, amen and amen. So are we blessed and are we excited to receive the blessings that comes from the Lord for today and our message is salvation and election as meant in the Bible. So our scripture reading for today is taken from the book of 1 Peter chapter 2 verse 9. But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. God is loving and compassionate. He predestined us from the foundation of the world. God chose us and gives us life. Though he was rich, yet for our sake, he became poor. Because of his love for us, he sent his only begotten son to give us eternal life. He bore our sins by dying on the cross to save us. As Christians, we have a special place in God's plan of redemption. We are an elect, a holy nation, a royal priesthood. What a privilege God selected you and me out of many people groups of this world with a very special purpose. We have to proclaim his supreme power that he brought us from darkness into his marvelous light. Praise the Lord because of his loving and compassionate attribute of our Lord, Yeshua Hamaseya. So our first point is that we are all commissioned by the Lord to preach the gospel to the whole world world and this is no 
excuse for us. We need to go out and preach the truth, share the word, because no one will hear if nobody will preach the word of those in remote areas. If God speaks to you to go for a mission and preach his word, then do it with, a, with gladness and joy in your heart because it's such an opportunity, a privilege to preach the gospel, to tell the truth, what Jesus Christ of Nazareth has done for us. So the average statistic is one out of 250 people. Can you imagine that? To evangelize and only one person is saved. So Christians, those who have relationship with the Lord Yeshua HaMasiyah and already been Christian for a long time, and maybe you are just being complacent and just relax, this is the time that God is reminding you and me to go out and preach the word of the Lord so that these people who are being blinded of the truth, they will receive the gift of eternal life. So that is the average now. Let's say you come to believe in Jesus after the Bible is being preached to you twice, the average according to the calculation, then another person has to evangelize 20,000 times before they come to the church. That's the normal average statistics. We already experienced that so many times, several times, that when we preach to them, introduce to them Jesus Christ of Nazareth, they will come to the church once. After that, they will stop because they are being busy of the work. They already found job. This is the saddest part. When we already preach the word to them and they receive the truth, and when they find job, they will forget Jesus Christ. But when they don't have yet the relationship with Jesus Christ, when they are in despair, oh, every, every day I will go to the church, they will call and ask me for Bible studies. But when... God will bless them. Then, that is the situation. So that's how difficult it is to evangelize. We should have that compassionate heart to evangelize and testify the goodness of the Lord, Yeshua HaMasaya, because that is our great commission from the Lord. No excuse. Di dito pwede maarte. Na kesyo ay mo pumunta doon kasi may init. Hindi ka pupunta doon kasi ano doon, uh, remote siya. No. There's no excuse. So, it's not easy to evangelize the person. You have to preach the gospel again and again and again until they will digest, until they will acknowledge that they need Yeshua HaMasaya, that apart from Yeshua HaMasaya, they can't do anything. And how stressful and painstaking sometimes it is to save our relatives and neighbors. In the very difficult to evangelize, to testify, is our relatives, our loved ones. And for that, they will be our great persecutors also. Most of them, they are abusive, yes. Sometimes they will insult us. They're being sarcastic. It's simply because they are still blinded of what is the truth. Why do you go even to the church? Uh, before, ah, yan na si, si praise the Lord. We try to take all the insults so that they may believe in Jesus Christ. So our part is to preach the good news with the guidance of the Holy Spirit of God. And again, I will stress this out that it's very stressful, painstaking, especially when you are preaching to your loved ones, to your family. They are being hard-headed, a heart of stone. But you need to kneel down, pray hard. Ask the Lord Yeshua HaMasaya 
to change the hearts of stone into a heart of flesh so that when you preach to them the word of the Lord, they will understand. Don't just go and preach the gospel without praying, without asking the guidance of the Holy Spirit because they will not listen to you. In Mark 16, 15, it says, Holy Spirit, bless your holy word. He said to them, go into all the world. Sinabi dito all. Hindi sinabi sa Dubai ka lang. Hindi sinabi sa Pilipinas ka lang mag-share mag, mag ng word. All the world. And preach the gospel to all creation. There is no colors. There is no, ano yan, mababa, ma, 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 yaman, mahirap. There is no. So, wag tayong namimili kung sino lang ang ating dapat share ng word of God. Especially when we go out in the road, makikita mo ang dami dyan naglalakad. And if God is touching your heart, putting the burden in your heart to reach out to those. Because ang dami pang hindi nakakarinig, marami pang hindi nakakareceive ng gift of life, nakakarinig ng katotohanan, we need to go and preach the truth. Only the truth and nothing but the truth. It says in Matthew 28, 18, 28 19 to 20, it says there, therefore, therefore, go and make disciples. Go! It's a command. Go. And make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Evangelizing, testifying, it needs to invest our time our effort, sometimes our money. Don't take that as a sacrifice because there is no such word as a sacrifice when we are evangelizing. We are investing in the kingdom of God. You are investing your time going out, preaching the gospel to them, investing your effort because if you will not go there, they will not receive. They will not hear. So, ano mang lahi yan? Pilipino man yan. Maitim man yan. Maputi man yan. Kayumanggi man yan. Mayaman man yan. Pobre man yan. Middle class man yan siya. Preach the truth to them. Kasi sinabi dito, all. Hindi sinabing some. Hindi sinabing many, but all. Kabuuan. So, as Christian, and I am not exempted for this, and I even have the instructions from God to bring souls at the feet of the Lord Yeshua Hamaseya. And I can testify that it's not so easy. But, you have to take it in your mind that it's such a privilege for you to go out there testifying the goodness of God because you already received the gift of life. You already experienced the goodness, how God made miracles in your life. So you should have that excitement to go. No holds barred. Diba? Wala, hindi dito pwedeng nahihiya ka. Eh, paano na lang kung nahiya yung nag-preach na yun sa iyo, hindi ka sana nakareceive ng, ano, ng gift of life. So, the same thing with us. Ask God, Lord, where you want me to send? Help me, God, to preach the, the word to them, the good news to them, to the truth to them. Open their hearts and understand. Pray and pray and pray before you go. Don't just go na hindi ka nag-pray. Kasi wala ka talagang mabibingwit na isda. Kaya kailangan before that, a month before, always include that in your personal devotion. 
write all the names, lay hands on that names. Lord, give them to me. Lord, speak to them, open their hearts, remove the heart of stone and give them a heart of flesh. So that when I preach to them, Lord, they will receive the truth so that their life will be changed and that they will serve you, Lord God, to the ends of the earth. Amen? So, Christians, this is a reminder to us that we need to preach the truth. We need to preach the gospel to them. And it's so fulfilling when if you are going for a mission and you will, you know, um, encounter different kinds of people and there's such an excitement in your heart just to share the love the goodness of the Lord Yeshua Hamasai. It should be evident in our lives. So number two is saved by grace. Since we were saved from our old rigid state because we are like a filthy rags. Salvation involves receiving grace because by grace through faith in Christ Jesus we receive the gift of salvation. So salvation is given to anyone who believes doon lang sa naniniwala that Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary 2,000 years ago and on the third day He rose again. So God's grace is given to the elect but anyone who believes. So those ayaw makinig, ayaw maniwala, wala. Hindi sila makaka-receive ng the gift of salvation. So he died on the cross and gave us eternal salvation. All of these are the grace of God. The Lord saved us from the life of poverty and he heals the afflictions from diseases. Because only Yeshua Hamasai can heal our broken heart. Sino ba ngayon ang broken hearted? na in despair sa kanyang boyfriend? Sino ba dyan ang nagsasuffer financially with this state of ating pamumuhay at this point in time of this uh, pandemic? But praise God, we have the Lord Yeshua Masaya. Our work is being protected by the Lord. Those men o may mga sakit, when you believe and have that faith and trust Him that God will heal you. He will gonna heal you because through your faith, it will be done. Moreover, He saved our soul from eternal punishment. Ito. I want to highlight this one. That if you don't have a relationship with the Lord Yeshua HaMasai, and if He comes or you meet accident on the road, and you don't have relationship with the Lord Yeshua HaMasaya, definitely you will go to hell. I'm being upfront, but this is the truth. It's not my word, but it's the word of the Lord. So, it is time for you now to ponder and reassess yourself because life here on earth is just a temporary. Dadaan lang tayo dito sa mundo ito, but our citizenship is in heaven. So our soul were doomed to death because of our sin, because of our wickedness. No matter what you will gonna do, mag relief operation ka man yan ng isang milyon. Pumunta ka man doon sa mga charities mo. If you don't have the relationship, personal relationship with our Lord Yeshua Hamasya, those things are nothing. We are saved by the Lord's grace. Amen? So in Ephesians 2, verse 8 to 9, Holy Spirit, your holy word, For it is by grace you have been saved through faith, and this is not from yourselves. It is the gift of God. Why God made it this way? Because para wala tayong pagmalaki. Ay, ginawa ko to! Ay, magaling ako dito, kaya ako sinave. No. Not by works, so that no one can boast. Kasi ang nature ng tao is 
mapray, ma ano to, mahambog, mayabang. Kaya ginawa yun ni Lord. Paano na lang yung pobre na hindi niya kayang magawa ng mga kawang gawa so hindi siya masisave. That's why. Galing ni Lord, no? Galing talaga si God. For it is by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not from yourselves, it is the gift of God. Not by works so that no one can boast. So it's not by deeds. In 2 Corinthians 8 verse 9, For you know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, that though he was rich, yet for your sake he became poor, so that through his poverty might become rich. Thank you, Lord. And what a blessing. Amen? So number three, chosen by God. The people of Israel were chosen as servant to prepare the way for the coming of the Son of God. People can be chosen because duty is appointed by election. Duty is assigned by election, whereas salvation can only be obtained by faith. The idea of being chosen, they take so much pride and joy the fact that they are selected. I meant elected. To be chosen by the Lord out of many to take charge of his ministry is something to be proud of. In that regard, however, the Lord went into the grave in order to give us the grace of salvation. So, are we blessed that God has chosen us to be his servant, to be his vessel, to preach the good news? We have to understand this very clearly. Being chosen, its concerns is being given a ministry according to God. So God didn't choose you and appointed you in that certain ministry. Be joyful. Be thankful. Wag mong hindi an. You are so blessed. And what an opportunity to serve in the ministry which God had called you to be. Walang ma wag na maraming mga reason. Just, God will not call you, will not elect you in that certain ministry if God knows that you are not capable of. That's why nga pinili ka niya kasi He knows that you are capable of doing it. It's just a, mat it's just a matter of you don't want to obey. You have so many reasons. I'm not yet ready. When are you will be ready? God is coming so soon. You should be blessed. You should be thankful that God entrusted you a ministry with the guidance of the Holy Spirit, of course, because we cannot do anything apart from without the guidance of the Holy Spirit. So, don't wait na kailang ka pa i-touch ni Lord. God has already spoken to you. Rise up. Go. Iba nga dyan, naghihintay na mabigyan ng assignment. Ikaw, ito na ang assignment, binibigay na sa'yo. Ayaw mo pa. What are you waiting for? Would you feel blessed with that? So, the servant are chosen where companies recruit employees, they have some selection and criteria. See? Pag nag-apply nga tayo ng trabaho, di ba? You have to pass your CV, basahin yung, yung, mga, yung mga ano mo, achievements mo, yung mga skills mo, yung mga experiences mo. Companies have certain criteria before they will select a candidate to be part of their company. And you are a chosen priesthood, a holy nation. Servants are chosen while the son is born. So if God chose you, in the ministry of worship, praise and worship, use your gift, use your talents for the glory of God. Huwag kang kumanta dyan mga worldly songs. It won't give glory to the Lord. If God had called you na gamitin ka para mag, mag, ano, mag live streaming, then do it with gladness and joy in your heart. If God had called you to preach, preach, 
and ask God for the guidance of the Holy Spirit to guide you in every every message that you're going to to share. E kung hindi ka na chosen, eh, di ba? Ano pakiramdam mo, di ba? Parang ay left out na left out naman ako dito, di ba? Ang dami diyang naghihintay na ma-chosen sila. Try to watch this uh, TV series, The Chosen. Baka yun ay makapag-open uh, ng, ano ng, ng mind mo to serve God. And it's very fulfilling if you are in the ministry. Yes, it's painstaking. Kailangan thick skin ka pagka nasa ministry ka. Kasi hindi pwede dito onion skin. Kung tila ano, ayaw mo na. Ano, iwanan mo yung ministry mo kasi nabiyo ka. No! Stand on your feet. Stand on your ground. Ask God to encourage you. Pray. Lord, this is what I'm going through right now. You put me in this ministry, then Lord, I ask for your grace. I ask God for your help. Help me because I am facing like this and like that. Don't just turn your back and iwanan mo na yung ministry mo. Oh, wow. Be careful. So this is our um, scripture reading, First Peter two nine. But you are a chosen people. Thank you, Lord. Praise God. A royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of Him. Who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Then how you will declare the presence of God? Through your life, testimony. God took you out from darkness and he brought you into your mass, his marvelous light. Praise God. Because of his love and compassion. E kung hindi tayo hinugot ng Panginoon, doon pa rin tayo sa makamundo sa makasalanan na pamumuhay na wala tayong kaligtasan. Hindi natin alam kung anong patutunguhan natin. So, what a blessings that God put us out from darkness. And here we are enjoying the goodness, enjoying every blessings that God has given us unto us. That God will bless us more. It's not just only material things. Blessings of good health, protections of your family, your loved ones. Is that, it's not a blessing? We are enjoying every blessings, every opportunity when we are serving the Lord with all our heart, soul, and strength. Don't keep your gift. Nahihiya ka. No. You have to utilize whatever God has given to you. For His glory, not for your glory, but for the glory of God the Father. The glory of the Lord, Yeshua Hamasei. We are a special possession that you may declare the praises. How you will declare the goodness of God? How God will change you? Dati, babaero ka. Dati, anong buhay na meron ka? You are living in a wrong relationship. But praise God. Someone preached the gospel to you. You responded to that. You acknowledge it. You surrender yourself to the Lord. You show up and say, praise God. That's why you have the relationship now and enjoying the goodness. Every blessings that God has given to you. And then, ayaw mo magpagamit. Tinatawag ka na ni Lord. Wow. This is the time now to make a decision. Whatever you decide today, it will affect your future. Amen? So, John 15, 16, You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. Fruit that will last and so that whatever you ask in my name, the Father will give you. Very clear God's word. God chooses. Chooses us. 
and He appointed us that we might bear fruit. So when you receive the word, when somebody preached to you the truth, you receive Yeshua Hamaseya, you already have the relationship with the Lord Yeshua Hamaseya, then go and make disciples, bear fruit, fruit that will last. Mga souls yan. Sabihin mo, ay wala akong gift para mag-preach, pero may gift ka para kumanta sa karaoke. Diba ba? So those things na ini-enjoy natin before dati, magaling kang magaling kang mag mag-sales to. Ay bakit ba? Kung ang ah, ah, yun nga ang problema no sa atin eh. Pagka mga product na mag magkakaroon tayo ng 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 ano ng income, ang galing natin. Inaabot pa na madaling araw, especially sa networking. Sa mga multi-level marketing, ang gagaling nila mag pag-aralan nila yung product nila. Be the product of your product so that when you testify of your product, it's very believable and effective. So how come? The word itself, the gift of life, hindi natin magawa. Gaabutin pa ng madaling araw kasi nga kailangan nga, kailangan makakuha ng mga, ano, ng mga, ng mga downlines. So can we not have a downlines in the ministry of the Lord Yeshua Hamaseya? Paramihan, by, ano, ano ba yun? Um, yung binary, by twos, it's the same thing. The same principles in the in, 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 in evangelizing, in discipling. Power of two. So, ask ka lang ng ask kay Lord. Ay, gigumawa ka rin. Magaling lang tayo sa paghingi. Ganun yung sinasabi natin ng mga nanay, tatay natin, diba? Ang galing mo humingi, ha? Pag may inuutos ako sa'yo, hindi mo sinusunod. O diba? Ganun tayo, eh. Same thing din with our Heavenly Father. Diba? Paano tayo mag-bear ng fruit kung ayaw mo naman magpagamit? Paano tayo makabear ng, makadala ng fruit dun sa paano ng Panginoong Yeshua Hamas? Eh, naandyan na nga ng opportunity sa iyo. Hindi ka pa rin lumalabas. Kasi gusto mo lang lalabas on your own comfortability lang. No. In the ministry, lahat yan nandyan. Maging uncomfortable man yan, but make it things na maging comfortable ka at i-enjoy mo yon every opportunity God has given to us. E pag in na tayo ni Lord, o ano, sana yung fruit mo? E diba sa networking, multi-level, o, o asa na ang ano mo? Ang downlines mo? Wala kang downlines, o di wala ka. Di ba? Power pa nga yan eh. O, power na tayo ngayon. O, mag-power din tayo kay God. Kasi the power that we have is the power of the Holy Spirit that is more powerful. So, let's go and preach the good news so that everyone will be saved. With the life right now, with what is going on in the world, especially this pandemic, the storm, Baguio Ulysses, this is the time. That we need to go out and preach to them. Give them encouragement that there is God above all. Everything happened for a reason. God knows that those people being in despair, nawala ng mahal sa buhay, nawala ng bahay, nawala na ng pag-asa. So, how do we receive encouragement? We, we are child of God. Tayo, hindi tayo lumalabas. Diyan ka lang sa lungga mo kasi komportable ka lang sa kwarto mo. Kasi hindi mo sila feel. Ba, hindi pwede. I-feel mo ang lahat. Hindi tayo pwedeng mamimili ng kulay. Mayaman ba yan siya? Mahirap ba yan siya? Uh, matangkad ba yan siya? Pandak ba yan siya? Walang ganon. There's no such things as in the Lord. Hindi porki gwapo siya, ay pritsyan mo na kaagad. Yung pangit, ayaw mo na siyang kausapin. Aba, hindi ganun. Hindi yan ang principles ni Lord. Wala tayong dapat pinipili. Puti, itim, kayo mangi. Anak araw yan, whatever. You have to preach the word. Wala kang pipiliin dyan. Manigro man yan siya. Diba? 
Kahit ipay na lang maputi sa kanya. Preach the word of God. Eh kung namili si Lord, eh paano kung hindi kanya pinili? No? Kasi maitim ka. Hindi ganun yun. That's why God, God is compassionate. We should have compassion in our hearts. If we don't have that compassionate heart, we cannot preach the word. We cannot, you know, hindi mo sila ma-embrace yung mga taong ito. But those are the souls that God loves so much. When you go out, try to go out in the road, ang hirap, habul-habulin mo sila. O bakit pag nag-networking tayo, pag ang mga product natin, mga online selling na yan, naaabutan tayo ng madang araw para na mag-post, na mag-post, na mag-post ng ating mga palita. Why don't you post the word of the Lord? And by that, Posting of the word of encouragement, many people will read and it will encourage them. Maybe at the time, that person who read the word of the Lord that you had posted is about to commit suicide. But when he read or she read the word that you posted on the Facebook or your Instagram, it gives him or her life and light. Diba? Huwag puro pera ang ating iniisip. Pag pera, pag mga negosyo, pag mga product, ang galing natin mag ano, ang galing natin ng ano, product, ano, product presentation, ah, ang galing. Marketing plan, ang galing. O di marketing na natin yung ating ano, pinagawa sa Panginoon. Diba? Encourage one another. When God chose you, when God calls you to be a minister, to be a pastor, to be, you know, an evangelist, stand on your ground. Ask the Lord, Lord, mahihain ako, tanggalin mo yung hihain na to para ako lugar ay makapag-preach, para ako lugar ay makapag-share ng word mo, para lugar maraming masasave na mga soul dyan sa labas. Eh, nung sa company mo, ang galing-galing mo mag-deliver ng speech. Maraming nag-a-applause sa'yo. Deliver ka ng acceptance speech mo. Why can't you do it? For the glory of God. Diba? Diba? So this is not the time that we will just be complacent and relax with all the things that is happening around the world. I mean, this pandemic is a really big eye opener to all of us. Wag tayong tutulog tulog sa kangkungan. dapat may na may na meaning, may na bibing with tayo. So, eto na number four, indebted to Jesus Christ. We should be grateful for the grace we are shown and contented having been showing kindness. So kung meron naman kasi na magpakita sa atin ng kabutihan, be grateful. Maliit man yung binigay niya sa iyong blessing, kasi ang binigay kita ng 50. Kay Pastora Nora, 100. So grateful ka lang kay Pastora Nora kasi 100 ang binigay niya ng 50. No! Small things. Kung hindi ka grateful sa small things, God will not entrust you bigger things. So, contented ka dapat doon sa maliit. Kasi God will look at our hearts. People always try to forget the kindness and the grace they are shown. Ganun tayo eh. Nung dati wala ka, sa kanya ka laging umaasa, halos araw-araw doon ka. Nung nabiyayaan ka na nakalimutan mo na siya. Di ba dapat magpasalamat tayo? Hindi natin kakalimutan yung tao nagbigay sa atin ng pag-asa at that time na ginamit sila ni Lord for you and me. Dapat kung sino, nag, yung sino sa atin nagbigay ng kabutihan, huwag natin kakalimutan yun. Dapat nasa puso't isipan natin lagi yan sila. Huwag natin silang basta mo lang tatalikuran. Hindi mo na sila lilingunin kasi nakarating nga sa abroad. Ay, bahala na siya. Hindi ganun dapat. Dapat magiging grateful tayo. Today, many people forsake their first love. And our first love should be Jesus Christ. They neglected the love which they received from God, which is their first love. Sometimes, when they are facing rebukes, when they are facing condemnation, when they are facing persecution, ayoko na lang dito. Go na lang ako. Ang dami naman ditong dos and dos. Diba? Diba? Wala na. Hindi niya na-love si Lord kasi nga, lagi siya nare-review. Kaya nga nare-review kasi love ka ni Lord. Tapos tatalikuran mo. O di walang mangyayari sa buhay mo. And then, expect the unexpected. So we cannot repay the grace that we receive from God with money. Eto ah, tanggalin lagi yung sa mindset natin yung puro pera. Walang amount 
of millions, trillions, billions of money can repay what God has done for us. We cannot absolutely say, I repay the Lord's grace in full since I dedicated a lot of offerings. How can you pay that back with money? There is a, there is a uh, testimony of Reverend Dr. Kidong Kim. Pinaaral niya, nakagraduate, na kahit ganun yung kanyang situation, nung nakagraduate na, wala na, nakalimutan siya for some time, maybe, and then nung na, okay na, binalikan siya, oh, ito na ang bayad, oh, wow, wag natin gagawin yun. Hindi yun maganda. You should be grateful. Alam mo, minsan kasi mga tinutulungan natin, ang hinihintay lang nilang kapalit. Thank you. At kamustahin natin sila paminsan-minsan. Uy, maraming salamat. So, walang perang katumbas ang ibabayad mo doon sa tuwa ng tao tumulong sa'yo na naalala mo siya, na lagi mo siyang inaalala, nagigreet mo siya ng happy birthday. Pag, Christ, pag Christmas, eh, well, hindi naman tayo na nagsisilbet ng Christmas, yung, yung mga New Year, dapat magiging thankful tayo. Ang isip kasi na rin, kasi marami kang pera, kaya mo bayaran. No! It's not like that. That's not the principles of God. We are indebted to Jesus Christ for the rest of our lives. Yes, because siya ang nagtubos ng kasalanan natin. Christians, we shouldn't be ungrateful. Hmm. So may tumulong naman sa atin. Magpasalamat tayo. Alalahanin din naman natin sila. Tinulungan ka na nga. Ikaw pang magalit. Ay, ikaw pang galit. Nabisaya man ako. Diba? O. Oh. Dapat, ay salamat kasi tinulungan niya ako. Diba? Ay salamat kasi tinutulungan niya ako para dito sa aking gawain. Hindi yung magagalit ka pa. Eh ano naman? You should be grateful. You should be thankful. Alam mo, I don't know. For me, ah, eh, eh, because I'm speaking for myself, lagi kong ibalandra kung sino yung tumulong sa akin. And before, no, may, may, meron akong uh, first, second cousin sa father's side na meron kami pinag-uusapan noon. Sabi ko, marunong akong lumingon sa aking pinanggalingan. Kung sino ang dapat kong lingunin. Dapat kong uh, bigyan ng nararapat na, na papuli, nararapat na, na appreciation. So, huwag tayo magiging arugante, huwag tayo magiging adilantada, ano bang, may, 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 may words dyan eh. So, in small things, we should be grateful. Kung nag-extend ng, yung tao na yan ng help sa'yo, could be God has touched his or her heart, then be grateful. Eh, minsan ayaw pa, ayaw pang tanggapin. Kasi nga, parang nakakababa sa kanya, ano, kasi di po, siya ang nagbibigay. Eh, nga, nga tinuruan ka nga ni Lord para magiging humble. Kasi that is the attribute, one attribute to Jesus Christ of Nazi, being humble. So, be grateful what you are receiving from, from these people because God touched their heart to bless you. Hindi yun na para lang ipamukha sa'yo na, ay ganito na ba ako ngayon kapur? Hindi kapur. Kaya ka nga binibless ni Lord. Di ba? We must never forget who we are indebted to. Alam natin yun. Kung kanino ta- dapat tayo may utang na loob. May kasabihan niya eh, kung sino hindi marunong lumingon sa pinanggalingan, hindi makakarating sa paruruunan. O di lumingon ka sa pinagkautangan mo ng loob. We shouldn't forget that we receive God's grace. Huwag tayong magmayabang, hindi porki na nakatayo ka na, eh, parang ano na, di ba? So, huwag natin kakalimutan yun. We should be grateful, we should be indebted for the rest of our lives to our Lord Yeshua Hamasaya. Amen? Kasi buhay natin, utang natin sa Kanya. Sa ginawa niya na inako niya ang ating mga kasalanan, ating mga pagkakamali. For our sake, 
we became poor so that we will be rich in love, not rich in money, rich in wisdom. See, for our sake. So kung meron dyan na tinulungan ka, nung wala ka, pasalamat ka. Pero nung meron ka naman, lingunin mo rin naman at kamustagin. At kung pwede mo rin naman siyang ambunan ng blessings na meron ka. Hindi yung magmalaki ka, magmataas ka. Kasi, ginamit din siyang instrumento ng Panginoon para i-bless ka. What you, what you have right now, it's simply because of what God has done for you. And these people that blesses you is, the, is God who touches their hearts to extend that blessings to you. So we have nothing to boast, to be honest. Sabihin mo matalino ka, kaya mo yan. No, there's no such thing as us like that. Na magandang trabaho mo, kaya magbo-boast ka. Why? Baka bukas, wala na yung trabaho mo na yan kasi pinagyabang mo. Nakaapa ka na ng kapwa mo. Pwede dyan sa maganda mong trabaho. No. Thank God. You have to be thankful. And share what you can share. With joy in your heart. Huwag ka naman mag-share na medyo mabigat naman sa kalooban mo. Hindi naman yung nakaka-ano, nakaka-bless. Diba? So we should be a blessing, a channel of blessings not just financially, not just materially, but spiritually. Dapat. So in Colossians 3 verse 12, Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion. Dapat compassionate tayo. Dapat ma magiging kind tayo. Dapat may humility tayo. Dapat gentle tayo. And mapagpasensya. Ito dapat ang mapossess natin na katangian. Kasi kung wala tayong compassion, hindi tayo makapag-preach. Makapag-share ng word of God doon sa labas. Kung hindi tayo kind, sa mga maliit lang na bagay, paano na? Dapat mapagpakumbaba ng kalooban. Hindi ibig sabihin pa apak-apa. Hindi yung gano'n ang ibig sabihin ng humility. Humility before the Lord. Gentle. Huwag naman, parang hindi ka naman lapitan. Pag nilapitan ka, naka, nakataas agad ang ano mo, ang boses mo. Naka, singhal ka na kaagad. No. Hindi wala nang lalapit sa iyo. O, dapat mapagpasensya tayo. Kung makapaghintay tayo, minsan kasi lang, ayaw maghintay. 15 minutes lang grace period. Eh, saan nga ang daming grace period binibigay sa atin? O, pagdating, eh, salamat, di ba? In Revelation 2, 4, Yet I hold this against you. You have forsaken the love you had at first. Huwag natin kakalimutan si Lord. Kasi that Jesus Christ in our lives, we will go to death eternally. And that is going to hell. So, you are already in the ministry. You already have the relationship with the Lord. Yeshua Hamasaya. Never ever think of backsliding. Dahil, alam mo na kung saan ang patutunguhan mo. And the last point is, leave a mark. People in this world are temporary, as I what had said earlier, and will return to dust in the end kasi sa alabok tayo ng galing kung di tayo babalik. Kaya kahit ano ka pa kayaman, kaganda, pag namatay ka, alabok ka pa rin. Babalik. So while we are in this world, we have to leave a mark. Ano ba yung mark na leave natin? It's not about putting a lot of cosmetics, kagandahan, lipstick, and all that, so that you can leave a mark in this world. Leave a mark of God, Yeshua, Masaya. Share the word of the Lord. Go and make disciples. Respond to the great commission of the Lord, Yeshua Hamasaya. Bring fruit at the feet of the Lord, Yeshua Hamasaya. That is the mark that you are going to live in this world. Not putting cosmetics, not wearing mga, anong klaseng mga 
gojian ng mga mamahalin ng mga ng mga ano na kilala ka sa ganito na brand din talaga yan siya pag nagsuot no that's not the mark you're going to leave that is walang saysay shouldn't be excessive and waste our time and money instead do the lord's work and leave a mark in this world so gamitin natin ang ating pera sa ministry wag mag-waste ng oras Kung may panahon, may pagkakataon na mayroon ka ng share ng word of the Lord, share na. Huwag ka na maghintay. Andiyan na yung opportunity binigay sa yung Lord. When you evangelize a person and teach well, become a disciple and a great Christian. So those, your disciples, you will leave a mark in their lives. How you lead them. Because your life will be a living example, a living testimony to your disciples. So being a di being discipler, it's not easy. It will test your patience, your your yung kung paano mo sila ihande. And through that, you will leave a mark in their lives, in their Christian walk with the Lord. So although nobody knows, God knows your heart, your effort. Di mo kailangan i, i, ano, ipangalanda ka na ginawa ko to for God na ubos dito dahil kay God. No, you don't need to say that. You, God knows your heart, effort, blood, sweat, and tears have left their minds. Kasi when we disciple people, you will need to invest also money. Kasi dadali mo sila para mag-coffee-coffee. Kasi kailangan mo silang kamustahin, kamusta na ba kanilang mga buhay-buhay, kanilang trabaho, ang kanilang pamilya, ang kanilang personal na buhay, baka meron silang mga problema, hindi natin alam. Kaya importante na mayroon nagdi-disciple sa atin. At pag may nagdi-disciple ka, definitely, syempre, you will invest. Huwag mo sabihin na ginastos mo para lahat doon. No, whatever you have is coming from God then. Spend mo yun wisely for the kingdom of God. Don't waste your time and money for nothing. Wait, uh, spend it and leave a mark in the life or in the lives of those that the need disciples mo. So in Romans 8.16, our last verse, the Spirit himself testifies with our spirit that we are God's children. Makikita yan. Because the Holy Spirit testifies that we are really indeed a child of God. So if this message is really touching your heart right now, and you have that burden, burden and that passion in your heart to go and preach, to go for a mission, if God calls you to mission, then go. Do it. Be grateful with whatever you have right now. Maliit lang yan, pero kaya rin ni Lord triplihin, doblihin, trillion times. Just be faithful. Do not forsake your first love. You already have Jesus Christ? Then remain. Remain in Him. Don't you ever think of, ayoko na dito kasi marami silang dos and dons, marami silang mga, mga pinapasunod. No. Pag umalis ka, ewan ko lang kung saan ang pupuntahan mo. Kung meron ka pa bang kapayapaan sa buhay mo. And definitely, you will go to death. So to those who are watching right now, who doesn't have a relationship with the Lord Yeshua, Masen, would like to have that personal relationship and personal encounter with the Lord Yeshua, Masaya, I would like to invite you right now to open your hearts, accept Him, as your Lord and personal Savior and have a personal relationship with the Lord Yeshua Masaya and so that you will enjoy the goodness, and the beauty, the power of the Holy Spirit of, of the Lord Yeshua Masaya in our lives. So, I will lead you right now to the sinner's prayer and repeat after me. You have to speak it out loud from your heart and repeat after me please bow our head and let us and I will lead you right now to the sinner's prayer 
Lord Jesus, thank you for the life that you've given to me. Thank you, Lord, for the word for today that you had reminded me that my life is nothing without you. Lord Jesus, thank you for your love, for your compassion, for your grace. Thank you, Lord God, for what you had called me from the foundation of the world. Lord Jesus, I ask for your forgiveness to forgive me for all the things that I have done which is not pleasing to you and help me to live a life which is pleasing in my walk with you. Help me, Lord God, to walk faithfully and help me, Lord, to surrender everything which is not belongs to you right now. And Lord, I ask you, I invite you right now to come and dwell into my heart and be my Lord and be my Savior and be my Master for the rest of my life. In Jesus' name. And Lord, I pray that you will write my name in the book of life so that when you come on Judgment Day, I will be with you in the new Jerusalem. Thank you, God, for the gift of eternal life. In Christ Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. So, congratulations. You are now a child of God. Welcome to the family of the Lord. And continue seeking God. Read the word. Spend time with God. Pray. So that your relationship will become deep in his word. So in conclusion, Jesus died in order to give us grace where the Lord called and chose us for the duty or calling. He was wounded to heal our sickness. Thank you, Lord. In his loving mercy, he gave up his life. He died on the cross and he gave us eternal salvation. He saves us from the life of poverty and he heals the affliction from diseases. We are truly thankful just as the son does his father's work. So, in the name of the Lord, you are blessed to be chosen. Thank you. I bless your holy name, Lord God, in the mighty name of the Lord Yeshua HaMaseya. Lord, thank you for this wonderful Friday. Thank you, God, for your reminders to all of us, O oh God, to go and make disciples, O oh God, and to respond, Lord God, to your calling, Lord God, to do the great commission, Lord God. Lord, help us and give us to God the grace, give us to God the compassion, give us to God the humility, give us to God the kindness, Lord God. In Jesus' mighty name, Lord God, so Lord, because without you, Lord God, we cannot do anything. And Lord, I pray that you lead us, God, into, Lord God, the souls, God, that you already prepared, Lord God, ready, Lord God, to accept you as their Lord and personal Savior, oh God. And Lord, I thank you for your grace, Lord God. Thank you, God, for the gift, Lord God, of salvation, eternal life, in God. In Christ Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen and amen. And please stand by for the response song to be sung by Abu Dhabi Worship Team. So, God bless everyone. Happy weekend. Enjoy. Amen.